What's good, y'all? It's your boy D, aka the Strength Squad General, back in the building with another banger video. And today, as you can see by the title of the video, you guys are in for a treat. Today, I'm going to share with you guys one of my absolute favorite things that I like to have first thing in the morning. Just like I'm sure the majority of you guys out there, a lot of you guys are fan favorites when it comes to coffee. Lately, I've been on my iced coffee vibes, and to be honest with you guys, I've been going to McDonald's, uh, getting my favorite, which is caramel iced coffee, or Dunkin' Donuts, or even a caramel macchiato or the caramel coffee at Starbucks which of course is a fan favorite from a lot of you guys but today um, keep in mind I know a lot of people out there just like me is trying to stay away and stray away from those sugars especially when you're dieting and just trying to make healthier decisions more health conscious decisions with that said guys before we get on with the video I know you guys do me a favor and like comment share the video subscribe if you're brand spanking new to my face brand spanking new to the squad brand spanking new to the channel turn on that post notifications so that you too can be notified when we post these bangers of ISO um, by a show of likes guys smash the like button if you too is a fan of coffee iced coffee in particular caramel flavored coffee in particular me personally caramel iced coffee is my absolute favorite pickup whenever I decide to go out so by a show of likes let me know if you too is a fan of it all right, so if you're just like me, where you would like to have it, but you would also like to have it where you can kind of stray away from those sugars and have a more healthier alternative. So where it don't necessarily mess up on your current diet regimen or it doesn't mess up with your plan and you don't feel guilty. So if you're looking for a guilt-free, healthier alternative, guys, such as myself, something that's not going to mess up your calories and mess up your diet and you can stay on point. And did I mention, guys, on top of the fact that we're keeping the sugars low, we're also spiking that protein. You're taking in 30 grams of protein without even realizing it and enjoying the entire experience so i appreciate you guys for clicking on this video you are in for a treat with that said without further ado i'm gonna say less and i'm gonna show you guys what this is all about all right welcome to the strength squad let's get it all right you guys welcome back to strength's kitchen and what you're looking at right now is just the basic necessities, the basic things that you're going to need to begin constructing this protein coffee. Of course, you can tell them, make it and customize it according to your taste buds and what best suits you and your macros. But I just want to give you guys at least the basic things that you want to consider when it comes to making strengths protein coffee. You're going to need a coffee maker, of course. Um, K-Cup coffees, from what I understand, um, works well with this. I have a K-Cup machine as well, but I don't have it up right now because I like to make fresh coffee. I'm on that fresh coffee vibe nowadays. But anyway, Anyway, y'all, so you're going to need, obviously, you're going to need a coffee maker. You're going to need some coffee, coffee of your choice. The coffee of choice that I'm going with today, guys, is Folgers Classic Roast, medium blend to be exact. And this right here is the game changer right here, guys. This right here is what this whole thing is all about. Um, again, you can add whatever protein of choice that you want to work. I can't vouch and say that, hey, it's going to taste great with any other protein. You already know, not all proteins are created equal and not all protein flavors are created equal. But if you're like me and you like the caramel macchiatos that you get from Starbucks or McDonald's, if you like the caramel iced coffees, then this right here is a vibe. I highly recommend picking this up. Plus, it gives you 30 grams of protein off the jump to start your day without you even realizing that you're consuming 30 grams of protein and you're just drinking it with your coffee, all right? Now, this is completely optional, guys. It's completely up to you. I'm just showing you guys two different sweeteners that I usually keep on deck. Organic Blue Gave. This is what I go to. Um, mind you, it has a few calories in it, a few sugars in it, natural sugars, but um, just something to consider for you guys. Or if you want to kind of like stay away from the sugars, then you can go with any type of natural sweetener. They do have caramel flavored sweeteners as well. I haven't tried it to be honest with you guys, but this right here in particular is a vibe. I picked it up from Costco. You can pick either one up from Costco if they have it available in your neck of the Wood. This one is um, a zero calorie liquid sweetener, which I highly recommend you guys. So I'm going to probably add this one right here today, being as though I'm trying to be conscientious of the sugar intake. And this right here, guys, has four carbs per serving, which is five grams in total. And of course, you're going to need a container of your choice, whatever fits the amount of coffee that you plan on having. I'm going with a nice, hefty mason jar. And um, you're also going to need a straw and you're going to need some ice. Also, you can add cinnamon to it if you want. Personally, um, I did it already before. And I just, it wasn't a big 
big deal for me. I didn't really, you know what I'm saying? I it was if anything, it kind of took away from it in my opinion. However, I added cinnamon to a different concoction that I made in the past, and maybe I'll show you guys that in a different video. But in my opinion, it's not necessary to add uh, cinnamon to this one. But you know, each his own. It may be a vibe for you. All right, you guys. So I just turned my coffee machine on, but I wanted to take this time to share a few necessary pointers that you may want to consider when you're making yours. Now, mind you. If you're, of course, if you're a coffee drinker, um, I don't know how much coffee you guys have in one setting. Um, me personally, I'm just going to use this as an example. I like to go with a medium, a tall cup of coffee. So keep in mind, we have to make sure that we make room for the protein. All right, keep in mind, we're making one serving. This is one serving size. We have to make room for this uh, delicious caramel flavored premier protein. So if you're like me, if you typically make a tall cup, um, you want to make sure that you dial it down to the smallest cup. Now this recommend two tablespoons of coffee for a small cup keep in mind we're adding ice which can dilute the coffee so I personally would say keep that in mind and add either an additional half of scoop or even another scoop a third scoop depending on how strong you want your coffee to be but I highly recommend that you go a bit above beyond what they ask for if you want to taste the flavor of the coffee if you do not want this coffee to be diluted if you don't want it to be watered down I highly recommend that you go with at least a half a scoop or more than what they recommend all right so we're gonna go ahead and get this going so we got one two heaping scoops that is and for my third scoop as you can see I did just a little bit more than a half a scoop all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cranked up and let's move on to the next part of this video all right guys so while your coffee is brewing this would be the perfect time to go ahead and grab your ice throw it in whatever container you're using as for me I'm using a mason jar so let's go ahead and do that right now all right so just that fast as you can see we have a nice Good amount of ice in here, guys. We want it cold. This is a cold beverage. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait for the coffee to go ahead and do its thing. And then we're going to add that to this right here. In the meantime, in between time, you want to take your uh, Premier Protein Shake. And make sure that it's chill, guys. Personally, I like to keep a few of these in the refrigerator. And right before I make this, I like to throw this in the freezer for about 15, 20 minutes. I don't know. It's just what I like to do, guys. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and shake this up and as you can see the coffee is ready so just shake this up give it a good shake as you can see everything else is pretty much good to go from this point all right so we just dumped our coffee into this ice filled mason jar and the next thing you want to do is grab your zero calorie sweetener or whatever sweetener of choice again we're trying to keep this as clean as possible we want to try to stay away from those sugars this is an alternate option when it comes to going with something healthier for you eliminating those sugars and giving ourselves an additional amount of protein to start our day so i'm gonna go ahead and dump some of this sweetener in here guys all right so once we're done with that guys we're going to go ahead and grab our straw and we're going to give it a good stir, get the sweetener in there, getting those blends all together. You know what I mean? Letting the ice kind of melt do this thing. And then the last step, guys, is we're going to take this Premier Protein and dump it in here, guys. And that's pretty much all you need to do. And you're good to go. And trust me, this right here, I highly recommend it. I'm going to probably say it like 20 more times before this video is over. All right, so let's go ahead and crack this open. And let's add this to the equation. You dig? All right, guys, so we have it cracked open. This is our goodness right here. Now, mind you, I'm doing this video by myself. So I have to stop the video so that I can use both of my hands to make this happen. All right, so let's go ahead and dump the protein. And as you can see, the iced coffee effect has begun. All right, we're going to dump all of it. Now, you know, pour as much protein in it as you like. Again, this has to be something that's um, considering your taste buds. Me personally, the more that you put in here, the goodness, the more goodness you get. Look at this. Look at this. Trust and believe, guys. This is not hype. This is not hype, guys. I have this all the time. And what we're going to do is just stir it up. Give it a nice stir. You know what I mean? Let the ice kind of like melt. And make this thing cool. You can actually drink it as is. Or you can actually store it, you know, and drink it the next day, and it'll be a nice cold beverage waiting for you, all right? So this is pretty much all it is, guys. This is all it is. As you can see, we came through in the clutch. I hope you guys enjoyed this, man. I'm going to go ahead and end the video out in the Strange Squad studio. But I wanted to show you guys how we did this step by step so that you won't miss it. And as you can see, very, very easy, very simple, very effective. 30 grams of protein off the bat. I will see you guys in the Strange Squad studio. And just like that, y'all, we came through in the clutch. I just showed you guys a very, very easy, simple, effective way to not only spike up your protein, but to keep those sugars down, to keep you away from the McDonald's, the fast food drive through and take a healthy approach. Something that's not going to mess up your macros, and you can have this every day if you would like. 
and it's an enjoyable experience. You cannot go wrong with it. These are the perks when it comes to my channel, guys. I'm gonna continue to share information. And actually, um, I had a bunch of people on my Instagram who requested that I come through with this video because I post a lot in my story, guys. And I used to post this a lot. As you can see, I'm done with it. I finished it before I even decided to come back to the camera, so my apologies. But um, I post a lot on my stories. So if you're not following me, I share a whole bunch of stuff, guys. I share a whole lot of recipe tips, a whole lot of weight loss hacks on my IG story. So if you're not following me on Instagram already, I don't know what you're waiting for. Now is a perfect opportunity for you to go ahead and do that after this video at strength underscore finest. That's IG, Instagram at strength underscore finest. I'm going to also post that in the description below. Thanks again for tuning in. I truly appreciate all the love and support that we get here on the channel. You already know we're going to run it up and I can't do it without all of you guys. I cannot do it without your support. Everybody who is subscribed to the channel, who supports me the best way that you can, I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, sincerely appreciate y'all. You already know we're going to it up together more look alive content more content health and fitness content i mean i got a whole lot of stuff that i want to share with you guys and i'm excited about you already know the new year is coming so you know we behind the scenes working on some stuff for you guys and we're going to share with you guys here on the channel as always do what brings life to you and it's a great chance that you'll bring life to whatever it is that you do strength squad general back in the building see you in the next video one love you already know hashtag grow 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 grow, grow.